Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I was born in North Dakota, and we moved uh, out there on, uh, oh, on number four. I went to Murthy, I mean, to, uh, to uh, partly to school at, uh, oh, near Hammerville, and built a log house. And, of course, we moved right when you, when you couldn't afford to move. In other words, the, uh, yeah, he didn't have enough money to finish the job. You know, anyway, the house caught fire and burnt down, and we lost it for taxes. One thing went from there to another. Then the mill, uh, well, the mill that started that started here started by itself. They, it was a water power mill. They turned it, you know, turn of the century. They had a water power mill going. And they thawed. Oh, I guess when, whenever in the spring of the year, you know, the normal whatever the logging procedures called for. Well, we done things in them days. They weren't very, very careful on whether they wasted the log or not. Well, like me now, there's one thing I done here that uh, that wouldn't fit in with the rest of them. I decided I was going to raise a family here, so uh, I had to uh, make myself work for the year round. Well, like I say, we've been neighbors, and. We just, I don't know, one thing led to another, and all of a sudden we decided it's time to get married. So we've been married 56 years this past fall. And at times I used to wonder, are we going to make it? <laughs> well, he started the first of it in 1966 when we lived over on the other place. And then we bought the farm here and moved it over here and went into partnership and it just kind of took off. Oh yeah, I was going to say that uh, what I had to do is, uh, is figure out a way to make a, a year run a year. Now that sounds kind of stupid, but in the spring of the year you got uh, road breakup. Uh, if you're in the logging business, there's nothing for you to do. You can't haul anything. Well, beyond uh, a few stakes. So I got this old mill there to keep me busy. But you didn't ever know. When I wanted to run it was uh, yeah, somewhere around the first April, somewhere. Because I wanted to be a pauper the rest of the time. I had to do something for it when the road breakup was on. Outside of that, it took care of itself. But when the road breakup was on, then I had to figure out something to do. What I've done is I got this old mill. Pete and John had it. Uh, uh, you don't know Pete and John, but they lived up in the northwest corner of the prairie. They had a steam engine and they had this old mill that they cobbled up. I bought that. that you know, I didn't need a big, uh, well, it was an old time mill. All I needed to do was serve from, oh, Road closing until road opening. If you could tell me that year after year, I could have some years not even started it. But then I don't know when that's going to be. Later on, we bought the planters so we could plane lumber and, and sell it uh, completely down. We bought that in later years. Uh, Henry Ford, that came out of his factory at one time. That planter we got back there. That was one of his planters that was in his factory in uh, Michigan, back when they still made car wheels. Out of wood? Out of wood. Well, when I was at the mill peeling popple, that was the main thing. You could sell all the peeled wood that you could sell, that you could make. I could peel wood all summer and I, it all had a sale. And them days, uh, probably the big important thing was sales. You got, You had to sell it. If you couldn't sell it, it was no good to you. Well, we started the mill first, and it was quite a few years later that we built the planter shed and then put in the planter, because our Sawyer loves to tinker. 
and he has rebuilt the mill and he's put in a lot of improvements and he's even put in a wood chopper that chops the slab wood and uh, he's very good at what he does. Uh, so no, it, it's much improved. Well, in what, uh, 66 till 90 or 09, that's a lot of years. Uh, it was, uh, at times it was kind of tough. I mean, because, you know, the things was, market was unvariable and uh, times it was kind of tough, but you figured out what was most important. And we put three kids through college and the other two said they always went to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> but no, our, our kids have done well. Yeah, very proud of them. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.